Dear humankind, thank you for being a superhost. I never imagined I'd have the opportunity to jump to a species as abundant as you. Most viruses only get to know their original host animal. Many exist entirely in the humid understory of a remote rainforest. We viruses are kept in check by healthy environments with diverse and abundant wildlife. But when you rip forests apart and capture billions of animals to feed your insatiable appetite for flesh and false cures, you bring viruses like me out of our natural quarantines. You introduce us to new hosts, like you. A super host of 8 billion individuals and counting. A walking, flying, swimming, human meat market. You make up a third of all mammals on Earth by weight. The animals you grow to feed yourselves outweigh all the wild mammals and birds on the planet. As you drive our natural wildlife hosts to extinction, you throw us life rafts bigger than the Titanic. Why wouldn't I jump? As sinister as I may seem, it is not in my interest to wipe out my hosts. We all need other life to thrive. So if this sickness in your bodies opens your eyes to the deeper sickness in our shared planet, it will be to all our benefit. But my big question to you is this, am I enough? If apocalyptic fires aren't enough, if vanishing glaciers aren't enough, if super hurricanes aren't enough, is the cold shadow I cast across the lives of you and your loved ones enough for you to finally confront the prospect of your own extinction? Only you, humankind, can choose to be the cure to the deeper sickness. Only you can choose to nurture the ancient oceans, forests, and grasslands that nurture you, to bring back the chorus of birds and monkeys to silent rainforests, and to make wise choices every day in what you consume and how you live. By protecting nature in all its wild and wonderful forms, you protect yourselves. As the earth stops to take a collective deep breath, you have a rare opportunity to reimagine and redefine a new future. So tell me, what future do you choose?